We're looking at the knee from the lateral side. It's the left knee. We have our scope in the super superior lateral portal, which is about three finger breadths up and one over laterally from the lateral superior pole of the patella. We have our shaver in through the inferior lateral portal here. And we've got Gertie's tubercle uh, right here, just above the, where the probe is. And the uh, dot on the side is where the lateral epicondyle is for the iliotibial band. When we This was drawn with the knee slightly flexed. So we're going to start looking through the super, superior superior lateral portal to evaluate the lateral uh, gutter of the joint. Viewing, viewing from the super superior lateral portal, looking distally, we see the patella in a panoramic view. That's this structure right here. We're, lighting, we're sliding over into the lateral gutter. Our shaver comes in through the inferior lateral portal. We have a little bit of material here which will clear out. And so as we slide down, first off we're going to check proximally, but as we slide down we see the, the ridge right here. This ridge is right at the area where the iliotibial band will meet the um, thermal condyle. We're going to open this area up. We're going to go ahead and clear this out a little bit more. And we'll free up the interface. And as we strip the soft tissue off the capsule, the iliotibial band is becoming more apparent to the side, the left side. this from the lateral epicondyle right here. All right, looking in, looking from above, we're inserting a, a spinal needle in through the side where the epicondyle is located. We're confirming that this is the epicondyle, so we're penetrating the iliotibial band right along in here. This could be released if we wanted to do that using a cutting device, either pie crusting this area or um, using a, a blade of some sort to, to do a Z-plasty over here. So we've done our release. We're going to range the motion of the knee, flexing it, extending it. You see how that's been separated there so the iliotibial band is now moving without an attachment to the lateral epicondyle.